Schizophrenics over it. What is the scariest hallucination, visually or audibly, that you have ever experienced? Want to be featured in my videos? Become a patron at the Patreon link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every day. Oh. Snipers. One Friday evening I was watching TV, and happened to be playing with a flashlight that I'd left on the coffee table. Boom. Next thing you know I'm in a full blown hallucination. I heard a special forces team out the window, as they were sneaking out of my backyard. I flashed the light around the room, and they got quiet, and they misunderstood my intent. They thought the light was mounted on a rifle. Next thing you know they're calling me outside as part of a SWAT response, and I'm on my hands and knees on my porch in the dead of night, asking them to please not shoot me. I must have stayed out there about 2 hours with my hands locked behind my head, as the snipers got more and more nervous about what I might do. Eventually they decided that there was no way to defuse the situation, and they shot me. I spent about 5 minutes laying dead on my front porch, then crawled inside my house to die. I phoned my mom to let her know that I'd been shot and that special forces had killed me. Needless to say she wasn't buying it and talked me down to earth a little bit, but that wasn't the end of it. She had me go to the air, and stayed with me on the phone until I got there. I'm still in full blown hallucination mode, so while I'm waiting in the air I hear the leader of the special forces unit chatting with the front desk nurse. He knows that I'm there, and is coming to get me. Luckily the doctor found me first, and didn't really know what to do with me, so he gave me 2 milligrams of Ativan and discharged me, so I drive home. Still hallucinating and now somewhat high from the 8 oven, and I see all types of crazy stuff on the way home. Once I get home the 8 oven mellows the hallucinations into something enjoyable, and I spend the rest of the weekend with playful hallucinations. I can't really describe the fear of having special forces snipers aiming at you for 2 hours straight. I'm not schizophrenic but I get psychotic episodes. My hallucinations tend to stick to one sense but sometimes kind of bleed into each other. I often hallucinate bugs on surfaces that aren't there, as I try to squish them without anything happening. I suppose the scariest one was a body lying on the floor of my bedroom and it was wheezing. For me, each sense has a different impact when I hallucinate something. Hearing something is extremely distracting and annoying but isn't scary anymore. Seeing something usually spikes my fear response, as well as tactile hallucinations. Thank god it's never happened before that a hallucination was occupying all of my senses at the same time. I'm not sure if I could handle that. Anyway thanks for asking. I usually don't get to talk about these things and it does help. But I would love to read more if you're willing to share. Sure. I've had hallucinations since I was very young. My own theory is that a part of my brain got damaged. I had a brain hemorrhage right after birth, and something went wrong during that or the healing process. At first it was purely visual, but the voices were there without me realizing. At first the voices were just narrators, commenting on random and nonsensical things and people. It wasn't until I got into my teens and after a few years of abuse at home and bullying at school that they got dark and actively tried to hurt me. The other senses gradually got in on hallucinations. I think partially because I wasn't as adept at blurring the line between real and fake. These days I can't see the line anymore and I rely on cues of other people to help me figure out what is and isn't real. It gets frustrating when I think I hallucinate a person that is thinking they're a duplicate that's following me. It's like you know you're sick but it doesn't fix anything. Oh yeah, I also don't respond to any type of antipsychotics. Just pure willpower at this point with occasional slip ups. I would love for a pill to be an easy fix. I'm schizo effective. I attempted suicide 2 years ago. While I was in recovery, not in a psych ward but actually still being hospitalized, I was having a hard time staying awake for any period of time. I woke up at one point and realized there was a freakishly tall person in a black suit standing next to my bed, leaning over me. I got this horrific sense of dread, like I was about to die, and I knew he had come for me. I looked up at his face and it had no features, like Slenderman. I closed my eyes and screamed as loud as I could, calling in the nurses who had to fight to get me to calm down. Part of me still wonders if it was a reaper that had come to take my soul. 
My mom worked at a placement home for high functioning mentally ill people. Occasionally, they would go off their meds and start the cycle down into their illness again. One woman called screaming because there were demons in her shoes. If she put her shoes on, they would crawl into her feet by going under her toenails and then invade her body from the legs up. Way back when I worked in social services, I had a client who had paranoid schizophrenia. He was a really smart guy who did great through college went to graduate school at the top of his class. Around the age 25 he started to become paranoid, having hallucinations of people watching him and trying to control him. By the time he became my client he had very little left. He lived in this little shack in the woods. I went out to see him and he was very upset because he felt like the airplanes going over his house. He lived near the airport, were part of a government conspiracy to try to control him. He still had his college ring on that he got for graduating with honors. He says to me, I don't understand what this ring is for I don't remember. After all he achieved and despite how smart and gifted he was back in school, you could now only see remnants of that. He was now a man barely hanging on afraid to take his medications with no memory of his former life and no family to take care of him. It was simply heartbreaking and scary. I still think about him and wonder what became of him. Schizoaffective disorder here. But that's close enough, I think. Most of the time my hallucinations are pretty mundane, but I do recall a few extreme ones. Worst of all would have to have been the time I was convinced I was being abducted by aliens. I was in bed and staring at the ceiling when a bright light appeared like a circle above me, and I felt like I was being raised up into the air from a center point in my chest. I could see shadowy figures gathered all around the bed looking at me being lifted and they were all whispering, but the whispers gradually grew louder until it was like the sound of wind. But I somehow snapped back into reality, very frightened but obviously unscathed. That had to have been the most intense hallucination I've had in my life. Sometimes I've been known to talk to apparently disturbing things that aren't there but I have dissociative amnesia and don't often remember doing so. That's all filled in by people I know who have observed me, though I never really know if they're telling me the truth which does bug me a lot. I have a lot of paranoia surrounding people telling me what I've done in dissociative episodes and them just lying to me to get me to think a certain way about myself or something. I don't know. It's rough never being sure of anything. Maybe have a friend record you? I think it would be cool to see how you are affected. Then maybe you can learn more about yourself. The one time someone did think to film me, I thought it was so uncanny that I had them delete it nearly immediately because it didn't seem like it was me at all. It really scared me. I'm sure my gut fear will always turn it into thinking that the footage is fake or that it's not really me. Like a double of me or something. My mental illness always finds a way to make sure I'm kept in the dark from reality at the cost of all common sense. Not a schizophrenic but I hallucinated a fair bit as a teen, and still sometimes now, unsure of the triggers for them. It just happens sometimes. No drugs involved. The most unnerving thing I've seen was a creature, as tall as the inside of a house stooped over on my neighbor's veranda. It looked like a person, but stretched out hollow face eyes, just staring at me. I would look away for a minute, and then back and it was still staring, just watching. I was 16 at the time, and I'd see smaller versions of these guys everywhere. But this one was huge, and refused to go. Eventually I fell asleep, and he wasn't there when I woke back up. I'm schizophrenic, and to be perfectly honest, I don't want to think about it. But I will mention that for a long time many of my hallucinations involved extreme gore. Also, my scariest probably occurred at a time where I was heavily symptomatic so it'd be hard to remember. Thankfully, I wish I could give a better answer. Hey finally a question I can answer. I have voices that tell me they're necromancers trying to steal my soul and take over my body. They try to convince me they're real people all day every day. The scariest time was when my heart was beating incredibly fast and they told me that they had control of my heart and were going to speed it up until they killed me. At one point I totally believed they were real, but I don't anymore. I proved them to be just voices with logic, thanks to some help from the internet. Primarily auditory hallucinations here. Once experienced the onset of an episode during which one of my familiar voices died, violently cried for help through direct interaction with me and continued to let out tortured cries the entire time until I was heavily sedated. Came to approximately a day later and I haven't heard from him since. 
I've experienced darker and objectively more disturbing content from them, but hearing one of them cry for help as it passed was one of the hardest hallucinations I've experienced. Edit, I'm schizophrenic. I only have psychosis, so not full schizophrenia but I still have hallucinations and delusions. I'm a woman and to be honest, both of my worst ones are pretty unbelievable because they sound so unusual compared to what you usually hear about in the media, etc. My worst hallucinations have actually been tactile, touch based, so not quite what you're looking for but there's a visual one also at the end which was very scary at the time. Tactile. I get this a few times a year but 2016 was the worst. They began in 2014 where something invisible would climb into bed with me and spoon me. It progressed from there and it got a lot more handsy but a round of antipsychotics got rid on them. In 2016 is came back majorly. I don't want to say it had sex with me because it's a hallucination. It's not real and there was definitely nothing visual but something did happen. It only happened once but for the next few days it would begin to touch me outside of my bedroom and during the day. One time it pinned me against the sink while I was washing dishes. Kinda felt like a power play almost like it's saying look what I can do. I can get you anywhere I want. Scary shit. Another round of antipsychotics got rid of it. I'm dreading the next flare up. Visual. One night walking home from class at university I was hit by a sudden dizzy spell that made my vision distort a bit. Then it felt like I was being pulled to look to the other side of the road where the woods was. There stood Slenderman. Needless to say, I instantly ran back to the house without looking back and didn't sleep that night. This one was probably the first thing that made me realize something wasn't quite right. The tactile stuff started when I returned home at the end of the school year. The Slenderman stabbing case happened shortly after this hallucination actually. I think it might have even been the same year strangely enough. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button like it's a thick booty. And don't forget to subscribe to OKPJ OK Dark if you like nice things, like new videos every day. See you tomorrow.